So in this video I want to show you how to tunnel bone a quail and then we'll stuff it and it's the nicest way of roasting a whole quail. It's a bit of work but it's a really pleasant eating experience later on. So first just trim off the ends of the drumsticks to clean them up a little bit later on so that they look much nicer and the next thing we're going to do now is loosen the neck on the top a bit. So just push your knife between the spinal bone and just loosen the neck a little bit and it will all make a lot of sense towards the end as you will see it's a very fiddly job do not worry if you mess the bird up a little bit as long as the skin stays intact that's the most important um, because you're going to stuff it with some mincemeat anyway in the end and then we'll just nicely glue it together so the next thing you're going to do now is it's disconnecting the wishbone so here we go there's your neck bone and right on top of the neck bone or in front of the neck bone you will have the wish bones and there's two ends of the wish bones connecting themselves to the neck and you basically have to loosen them and disconnect them in order you can pull out the wish bones so what i do now is just basically cut under the wish bone and clean that up and here we go you see that once again so I just disconnected the wish bone once it disconnected from the neck you can basically just sort of pull it out I made a bit of a mess here because I pulled it out but the bone broke and that happens quite often with quails because their bones are very very soft and so just disconnect that as well use a knife a little bit and here we go there's your wishbone and there's that little bit at the end so once you have the wishbone out you're basically more or less free just to sort of turn the quail inside out and you need to obviously disconnect all the skin and the meat from the carcass so just start with the back and then go from down from the front now i have another video there on deboning quail which shows you or explains a little bit the carcass or the structure of the carcass and if you understand that then it's pretty easy to do you could do the same thing with a quail you could do the same thing with a duck turkey chicken it's always the same because they all have the same carcass structure so i'm basically just cutting down you know where the breastbone is and as you can see now I just literally turn it a bit inside out and that helps me enormously with seeing what's going on inside otherwise if you don't have that sort of view you will really struggle so what you see here now I'm just cutting along the breastbone it's a lot of cartilage there as well so just gently try to disconnect it and as well because quails are so soft you can always sort of just a tiny little bit of bush and pull and here we go they now can see how all the basically bone structure comes out and that's all the breast bone and that's the part which i explained you from the other video you can see exactly that's where you have to follow down with your knife and always make sure that on one side of your plate you have meat and then the other side of your plate you have some bone and then you should be should be on the safe side if you have you cut through bones you've gone wrong if you have just meat on both sides of your plate then you're obviously gone into the meat so just now I'll disconnect the back side and that's a bit of a tricky one because there's not much meat there so you have to be really careful to not to stab through the skin so that you can make a really nice studin of quail or like a whole stuffed quail later on and as i said it's a really nice way of eating it because you don't have to worry about bones you know a lot of us don't cook quails or roast quails simply because you sort of are aware of all those little bones it's a bit like eating a fish with bone and here we go so just keep cutting down now we also cut around there where the oyster is get that out nicely and then i disconnect the joints where the thigh is connected to the spinal bone so basically connect disconnect that and through that i loosen the legs up as well so once you have the legs loosened up that's all nice and good to go and then just push that back and here we go and there you see i keep removing the bones i keep removing the bones and it's just if you're not that good at the beginning just do a bit of a pulling chop so the next thing you can do now you can leave the thigh bones in or you can remove them as well and you could see them in the other video i leave them in today because it gives the quail a much nicer shape if i leave the thigh bones in and here we go that's my inside out quail and you can learn much more about that in my online courses where you learn several different other ways of deboning quails basically every method there is 
as well you can learn how to cook it in every possible way the sauces the garnishes you can service it so please check out my link below check out my online courses and what i do here now is basically i just trim off the excess wing meat and i french the bone but basically just pulling that all a bit away cut through the bone the bones are very soft and you have a nice clean edge so the next thing is filling the quail so all i do now i have a stuffing in here which you can learn in my online courses which basically just take some simple sausage mints you know good quality sausage mints and add some sage to it add some herbs to it make it taste nice you could put truffles in it morels pine nuts whatever you want it's pretty straightforward and now i just push the quail back into shape and it looks pretty good and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel um, I focus a lot of my videos to teach you techniques rather than just plain recipes because I always find that techniques is the golden cooking. There's loads and loads of recipes out there, but there's very few techniques properly explained. So that's why I'm trying to focus in my videos here as well as in my online courses. So if you have the techniques you want to learn, then check out my online school. And here we go. So what I do now is just tie the string around the back of the quail. So it all looks nice and pretty in the front. I'll show you that once again. I just get it some loops around the basically thigh bones. Go on the back of the quail, get it around the wing bones, and then just nicely tie my quail together by basically pulling my string around. And it gives the quail an absolutely amazing shape. There are different ways of doing that as well, but that's probably the most simple way and the most easiest way to do it. So here we go. So that's your quail now, stuffed and fully deboned. And now I quickly want to show you how to roast it. So all I'm going to do now is heat a pan. I switched my oven on to 250 degrees because it needs to be really, really hot heat. Because the one thing you don't have is time because the quail is quite small and you do not want to overcook it. So go on the highest heat in your oven. Take a bit of butter, melt it in a pan, so the pan needs to be heated separately. Then place in the quail into your pan and then just grease it a little bit with some butter. And quail is sort of a really nice, you know, it's a lot in Asian cooking, but historically the Egyptians used to eat it, the Romans used to eat it. And I just love that sort of version quite nicely in a French, French way of cooking. And I just season it with salt and pepper. Add some aromatics to it, some like shallots, herbs like rosemary or thyme, a bit of garlic, and that will release a lot of flavor into the butter. And I was just doing the roasting several times. I would just spoon the quail with those aromatics like you see me doing here. And the whole roasting time of that quail is depending on its size, seven to nine minutes. So that's all. And then nice resting time because quail you still want to have it sort of medium well should still have a bit of color and of course you could turn it those roasting chooses into an amazing sauce which you can see in my online course it's the more extended videos so then you take a quail out and you rest it for five to six minutes because the temperature will travel inwards rather than outwards and it will cook you all the bits you have in there really nicely and then before serving just remove the string and you can see the quail has an absolute perfect shape it looks really plump it looks really delicious and here we go that's your dodin or roast dodin of quail it's how you tunnel bone a quail that's how you can fill a quail and here we go with my stuffing and i hope you enjoyed that video so please subscribe and I look forward to seeing it one of my other videos or my online cooking school. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.